44. So up now, three seed, Bill O'Neill. And Bill O'Neill having a career year. Yeah, Missing it, that one thing. Absolutely, just missing the, the one win, but you're right, Rob. He's tied for second in shows with Chris Barnes at seven. And, you know, it, at some point, he's going to break out, and he's going to win that first title. And when he breaks out and gets that title, watch out. Uh, missing the head pin is not the way to earn that first title. Fortunate for him, it is in the first frame, but he admits, you know, he has kind of some, some bugaboos when the lights come on and he's bowled on Sunday and not on Friday. Well, let me explain to you what he just did there. On Friday night, a lot of the players moved out on the shark pattern because the middle of the lane was just completely fried. And that's exactly what Bill O'Neill tried to do there. I watched him try to do it in practice. I'm not sure how successful he's going to be at playing the shark pattern on the outside part of the lane when traditionally that pattern plays in. Allen continues the strike train, make that nine consecutive strikes dating back to his last match. Asked him about the season, he said it's good and getting better. His stats are up, his averages are up, he's reached just about every goal he's had. And he said, you know, I have a bonus goal out there, I haven't hit it yet, and that's to try and kind of claw his way inside that top 20. I always felt that Richie Allen is a very, very good bowler, very underrated player. And I always felt that he was a unique player in that he's got a little bit of a loft game. Uh, normally, the only time we're talking about loft is when Mika's on the show. And, Come on. And I Don't think, fall off it like that. I think that he's excellent. Shots, Richard. Come on. I think he's excellent when the oil patterns get tough and he has to grind on them. But I think he's just a tough kid, a tough competitor, and he's very good at making shots. Off camera, Bill O'Neill has left his area and is digging through his bowling bag. Allen picks up the spare, so O'Neill say no time like the present to throw in a potential new ball option. The one he brought is not the one he just picked up. Yeah, and I think it's just for that left lane, the shark pattern. <laughs> O'Neill has now made seven shows this season, and he's, uh, he's taken some tough pills this year on the tour. I'm a lot mentally tougher this year than, than previous years. Um, if I go out and bowl a bad game, it doesn't really affect me as much as it did. I know I can come back, and I know, I know my ability, and I know I can get back and bowl 250 the very next game very easily. And showing that bounce back ability, open frame in the first, comes back and gets a strike on that right lane, which is the Viper oil pattern. He's now on the left with the shark oil. And gets another strike. I should say shark oil pattern, not shark oil because that would be inhumane and might get the PBA in trouble. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> clarifying that. I'm going to keep Pete off my back. There, there's the huge change that he made. He went to a, a different ball, and then he moved towards the center part of the lane where, as I said earlier, that's tra traditionally where you play the shark oil pattern. <laughs> Heavy, but gets them all to kick. Or just a little bit of room. You just don't have a decent ball's money. And again, the Viper pattern on the right lane looks like the more forgiving of the two patterns. But yes. The other thing Richie Allen has like going it. for him so far is the pins are cooperating. He's got some nice pin carry early on. Grab it, you're fine on this lane. This is ninth top 20 finish of the season, his second top 10, but first in the top five. Well, this could have been a four-nine split easily, but again, the nice break trip in the four with a spare Richie Allen will remain clean through four frames. I, I hesitated to, to talk over that, waited for the replay because I was waiting for some commentary from Richie. I didn't get it. More times than not, though, he'll, he'll deliver. 
Richie takes care of the single pin spin. We're three and a half done with match number two. In the conclusion of this match, when we return, the winner to face two-handed bowler from Australia, Jason Belmonte.